Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Chemistry videos. In this video, we'll be explaining the solution to the question given, that is what does Psi 420 indicate? This is Psi and this is 420. So what does this indicate? The answer is, it indicates 4dz square. But how and why it indicates 4dz square? Let us understand this. First of all, what is psi? Psi is known as probability amplitude. This wave function represents the amplitude of an electron wave. So this psi represents the amplitude of the electron wave. And here the numeric values represent different quantum numbers. The first numeric value indicates the principal quantum number and it is 4 in this case. The second numeric value indicates the azimuthal quantum number and it is 2 in this case. And the third numeric value indicates the magnetic quantum number and it is 0 in this case. So the answer for this I wrote 4 d z square. We understand 4. 4 represents the principal quantum number. But why I have written d z square? Let us understand this. So here the question was psi 420 and 4 represents the principal quantum number which is n. 2 represents as a metal quantum number and 2 here indicates the d orbital. So this is the reason I have written 4d because when the azimuthal quantum number is 2 it represents d orbitals and here are the 5d orbitals an atom can accommodate. In this question, 0 represents the magnetic quantum number and magnetic quantum number represents the spectral orientation of orbitals. So as in this case, L is 2, so it represents the d orbital. So if we consider different spectral orientation of orbitals, then the value of magnetic quantum number for these five orbitals will be for d, x squared y squared m will be plus 2. So if we consider the value of m equals to 0, then the spectral orientation will be dz square. That is along the z-axis. So this dz square is symmetrical about the z-axis with dumbbell shape and a donut a shaped electron cloud in the center. So there is a reason psi 420 is written as 4dz square. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.